Masking of data means hiding its values by replacing them with a character. You might have noticed that whenever a bank sends you an email having a card number or the statement of your credit or debit cards, all of its digits are not visible. Usually, only the last four digits of card are visible. The rest of the digits are displayed as X. This is called masking. Masking is usually performed on sensitive data which should not be leaked. Today, we will see how to mask values in Spring Boot application using Jackson Library and we will be masking card number only. This is a Spring Boot project having a main class with Spring Boot application annotation. If we look at its build.gradle file, we have only one dependency which is Spring Boot Starter Web. There are multiple videos where I have covered how to create a Spring Boot application from scratch. Link of one such video is at the top right corner. First create a class which represents the details of a card. It will contain fields such as name of card holder, card expiry, its CVV and card number. We will be masking the card number except its last four digits. Generate getter and setter methods of its fields. Next we will create a serializer that contains the logic to mask a value. Create a new class and extend it with Jackson's JSON serializer. Since this serializer will deal with string values, its generic type will be a string. As soon as we extend JSON serializer, we need to implement its serialize method. This argument will be populated with the incoming value in the request. A simple logic to mask all the characters except last four is to loop through the string from start till last four characters and set each character to mask value. So, create a string builder. I trade using a for loop from zero till its length minus four and set each character to mask value, which is x. Write this string back to the response using write string method. Next, we need to apply JSON serialize annotation over the field that we need to mask and configure it to use our own serializer. This should be done in the class whose object will be sent as a response or serialized back to the client. Now you can apply this annotation over any field that you want to mask and the serializer's serialize method will automatically be called. Finally, let's create a controller to receive a request and return response. Apply rest controller annotation over this class to make it a spring controller. Create a new method that will accept JSON request and convert it to object. Its argument must have request body annotation since we want to automatically convert a JSON to object. Here we need to perform some logic as per our requirement and return card object. Since this method accepts a body, it should have post mapping annotation along with the URL at which it will be exposed. Start the application. It has started at port 8080. Open Postman. Create a new request. Its URL will be localhost colon 8080 slash process, which is the URL mapping of our controller method. Define the body that we need to send. It will be in JSON format. Fields will be name, expiry, CVV, and card number. Send request. Look, we have successfully masked the digits of card number. We can also use a regular expression or regex for masking the digits of card number. So, instead of using a loop and all this logic, we can simply use strings replace all method. This method accepts a regex as a first argument and the value to replace as second. Regex to match all characters of a string except the last four is simply supply this string to write string method. Restart the application. Go to Postman and resend the request. It is working. That is all for this video. Hope you found it useful and I'll see you in the next one.